is doing. This is Dr. Khanna once again, bringing you some latest breakthroughs in science and technology as applied to medicine. Today, I'm going to talk about bonus and what's the new thinking and new non-surgical strategies which might help reverse this sightening disease. I'm going to do uh, bring this close. So this is the normal cornea. If you see one important concept, this is the center and this is the periphery or outside. The thickness here and here is similar. It happens, the fibers which are like this in the center, they get pushed outside and that causes the thinning. But the fibers do not disappear. And that's a very important thing, both patients and doctors and surgeons and everybody concerned with keratoconus has to remember, just getting pushed aside. Now, why they get pushed aside? We have a separate and some of the causes we've not paid attention to. But in here, we'll just bring one most important cause, and that is rubbing. So when you rub on the center, that that's where most the under that causes these fibers to move to the side. So that means the thickness, and I'll bring this back, is one way we can identify early cases of keratoconus where the person tissue distribution ratio is there. But now what we are saying is, hey, if the fibers didn't die, all they did is they get pushed here. What about you and bring those fibers back? If we were able to do those collagen fibers back, you know, every from the laws of thermodynamics, every action and dream. So if we've pushed it aside and that has caused the thinning. And that has thinning has led to bulging. So we've been so focused on the bulging and thinning, we've not paid much attention to the cause. But because this happened, what if we are may able to bring the fibers back? If we can push them back, and that's where we are come up with a new K method, which are a set of non-surgical interventions which will help move the fibers towards the center and smoothen the cornea and give better vision. So there may be two words in which will be one non-surgical and in surgical, we can do a couple of interventions where the ratio we can remove a circle of peripheral cornea and stitch it so the ratio becomes better or we can add cornea in the center and make the ratio better but non-surgically we can use a opposite of pressure which caused them to move and bring them all to the center so we were going to be discussing the details as we go along in the next is undergoing rapid changes both in terms of diagnosis and in terms of treatments. So if you want to keep learning, and also if you're planning to have basic or any practice, it is very important you learn about early detection of keratoconus because a lot of patients we were thinking are normal. We are discovering they're having shit or like a line. So only at a certain point people get keratoconus, but anytime before, Decactasia. So, my friends, keep watching latest breakthrough information about keratoconus, and we are going to fight this sight threatening disease and give vision to all. Have